Biblical Sexual Purity Teaching Godly Sexuality with Hosanna David Hello viewers, welcome. My name is Hosanna David. You are welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. I want to welcome you happily to this series of teachings. We are going to be looking at the Word of God and I also want to pass on to us some of the revelations that the Lord has given to me. We will look at them as we pass through this series for this period beginning from this moment. I really want to encourage you to subscribe and follow what we are doing. You can also like our Facebook page, Biblical Sexual Purity. Before we begin, I want us to pray. Lord, our Heavenly Father, we give you praise and worship for making it possible for your children to know the truth that you have revealed to us. We pray that you will strengthen us by your spirit and by your power so that we will do your will and your will alone. Open our hearts to the truth and let the truth that we know set us free. In Jesus' name, amen. First of all, I want to tell us the background of what we are doing here. Because of the kind of family I was brought up, I wasn't bold enough to even talk about anything called sex. In 2015, that's about two years ago, there was a night that the Lord woke me up and asked me to write everything he was to tell me. So I picked up my Bible and I started writing. As I was writing, the Lord showed me how the devil is using sex as a weapon against humanity. And unfortunately today, not many of our pastors and teachers talk about this. A lot of people are shy from this topic. Even me, I used to be very shy. But as the Lord began to tell me things, I, I now saw that it is really something that is very expedient that we should talk about today. If you look at our communities, you look at our churches, you look at our nations, look at the world in general, you will know that there are lots of troubles as it concerns the issue of human sexuality. Nations are breaking up. You see, churches are splitting into two. There are lots of proliferation of churches just because of these singular issues. You have gay rights, even people taking animals to the law court and they get wedded and men and men, women and women are getting married. This is not the original plan of God. And for the church to stand up and for humanity to survive this ill ugly trend that is about to remove the humanity in man and replace it with animalistic attitude, we have to go to the tru truth. We have to stick to the truth and know what God actually intended for man. I want to tell us that God is actually angry with humanity because of this pollution that man has introduced into this world. I want us to look at the beginning of what God actually mean when he created the man and the woman. In Genesis chapter 2, Genesis chapter 2 verse 20 following, I want to read from the King James Bible. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam he was not father help meat for him. 21. And the Lord God caused this sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept and took and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now the bone of my bones, and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. This is the original plan of God, when God created the world. And even in Genesis, Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 uh, and 28, the Bible says, So God created man in his own image, 
in the image of God, created he him, male and female, created he them. And God blessed them and said, Unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fire of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. This is a plan of God for humanity. The only way, only rec recognized way that God has instituted for man to partake in the creation of something that is like him. I mean, creating the, the replicating the image of God, creating the image of God so that there could be continuity of humanity on earth is through sex. And you, some, one of the things that the Lord told me and made me to understand is that people do not know the power that is in sex. How much the devil has taken hold of this act and is using it against humanity. The Lord spoke to me that day and I, I became confused. What he told me that brought confusion to me momentarily was that the highest covenant so far is blood covenant. But sex, sex covenant is higher than blood covenant. And I said, why? Why should? But blood covenant should be the highest. The Lord now explained to me that there is blood covenant inside sex covenant. When people come together and have relationship, they become one flesh. I will take my time the way the Lord revealed these things to me and I wrote them down. I'm going to do a video and I will put a transcription so that people can understand. And I will encourage you to share these videos and subscribe and follow this teaching. Some of the problems people are having today when they are losing, when they, they, they mix it in life is because they don't understand what it really means to for a man and a woman to unite together in a sexual union. The Bible says that a man will leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they too shall be just one flesh. And that's very day, what the Lord told me was that you can't hide your secret from anybody that you sleep with. That if you happen to sleep with an agent of darkness, somebody that is possessed, you can never hide your secret from that person because both of you have become one. And a question was posed, can you hide your secret from your own self? No, this is what it looks like. You can't hide your own secret from your own self. And by the time you sleep with somebody, your heart is open up, your spirit is open up, and the person gains assets into your life. Another thing is also that I want us to understand and know this moment is that the Lord told me there is nobody that lives in fornication or adultery. Anybody that flesh can never, never fulfill their destiny in life. There are so many things that humanity do not know when it comes to the issue of sex. I have made up my mind that I am not going to shy away from this topic because today we have children giving birth to children. Even just yesterday, today is Friday, yesterday was Thursday, as I woke up, the power of the Lord came upon me and I, my, my, I, I became heavy in my body and I knew the Lord wanted to speak to me. I was doing my devotion and the Lord told me, Hosanna, pick your Bible, pick a book, I want to speak to you. And as the Lord was speaking to me yesterday, the Lord told me that, I was talking about the end time, that when you see children, one of the signs of the end time, when you see children giving birth to children, and you also see married women and married men who are looking for children, you should know that the coming of Christ is at hand. Something that we must know is that sex is spiritual and until we see sex from the spiritual point of view, until we see it as a spiritual act, we will continue to fail because the spiritual reigns over the physical. There is nothing that happens on earth that does not have a spiritual connection and a spiritual root. So, I want to encourage us that we should, if you're having any problem, we are going to be going through this series. And let me just give you a break.
breakdown of what we are going to be doing on this channel. And the Lord has revealed to me that there are lots of persons and not just about the Lord revealed to me. I have seen a lot of persons who have problems with masturbation addiction, who have problems with pornography, even some so-called Christians who seem to be so serious in the work of God have these challenges and we cannot continue to shy away from these challenges because it is taking people to hell. The Lord spoke to me one day and told me that, Hosanna, listen, anybody that dies in white washing pornography is like somebody who is in the sea, who is on the sea and then a tsunami takes place. There is no assurance of survival when somebody is in uh, engaging in a pornographic act and then the person dies or the lord comes there is no way that person can make it and a lot of people have been condemned a lot of souls are being de destroyed by the devil because you have a lot of people who are into this pornographic industry who are not real human beings and by the time you watch the movies they have real access into your life there was this day the lord was talking to me about lust just lust what we think does not mean anything i will take time to explain and also bring forth before us what the lord showed to me that day that Anybody, you, if you lost after an angel of darkness, and if, if, if the angel of darkness wants to gain access into your life, if the person dresses seductively and you lost after the person, your heart opens up. And from the very moment you start reacting to the person, you start reacting sexually, you know, hormones flows into your bloodstream and your body begins to wake up and gets prepared for sex by the time you start passing through this process that the demons that the person works with can be projected and gain access into your life these are weapons that the devil is using against us the bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds we have to be updated about the weapons of the enemy so that we will not lose the battle that we are fighting there is a battle that is contending for our souls what we're going to be looking at on this um, channel is that we are going to be considering topics like masturbation addiction and even look at what masturbation really is, whether it is good for human, whether God approves it. And we are going to also majorly talk about the real purpose of sex. Why did God create sex and the abuses of sex? We are going to be looking at the, some of the shames, sexual addictions that have held man in captivity, like uh, masturbation addiction, pornography uh, addiction, we are going to also look at does human being was he actually created to live to be gay was man create man created to be gay or man created to be uh, a lesbian these are some of the things we are going to be considering and we have a textbook here this is a holy bible and this everything we're going to be talking about is going to come from this bible whatsoever thing that does not come from the bible is not true we are going to be considering these issues and bring out the solution. If you have any question, you can email me directly at hosannadavid at ymail.com and we are going to respond to every question that you ask. If you want us to deal with any particular topic, maybe where you find the challenges in life, you want us to deal with it, don't shy away from it, feel free to reach me. The email is hosannadavid at ymail.com you can also email me at info at egoeyeopener.com. You can also use this email, biblicalsexualpurity at gmail.com. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming for a church that is holy, a church that is without wrinkle. But the devil is trying to introduce a lot of 
uncleanness into us so that when we become so unclean the devil can have access into our lives remember that the bible says that just as he who calls you is holy be holy in all you do so we have to be holy sex is holy and it should be treated as such sex is not a dirty act it came from a holy god but the devil is bringing in a lot of abuses so that we can offend god as it happened in genesis chapter 6 when the sons of god fallen angels became they put on human flesh and decide to sleep with the human beings the daughters of men and they gave birth to people who were partly humans and uh, partly demons who uh, did not have the real dna of human and they caused a lot of trouble some of them had six toes and we have people like that living in the world today we i want us to build up ourselves and so that the body of christ can know the wise of the devil the bible says that for we are not ignorant of his devices lest should satan gain advantage over us we don't want the devil to gain advantage over us and until we know the truth we can never be free because jesus said that you should know the truth and the truth shall set you free and not just i i won't just look at the bible only but we will use this as the basics for as a basis for everything that we're going to do but i want to let you know that on my own i've done a lot of research how why I, there are questions i ask myself when i read some things in the bible and i uh, try to marry them with what uh, people say people like sociologists what science actually say when i look at what people and the scientists are discovering but biologists are bringing out i try to debunk some of them and bring out the truth because a lot of some of these researches they are doing they are doing them just to promote satanism i've done a lot of research because we have a youth who believe that they have so much knowledge Forgetting that the Bible says in Daniel chapter 12 that people shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. This is one of the signs of the end time. This type of knowledge is not the knowledge that draws men closer to God. It is the one that makes man depart from God. Knowledge has so much increased that people no longer value what sex is. And because of the abuses, the devil is used.